Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man Prime Time, and you already know you on Prime Time Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. For prime time to this day. Oh man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? Man, oh man, ever since Boots won, you know, it's been a lot of chitter chatter, a lot of people making smart remarks, some people giving compliments, some people congratulating the pro boxers, etc. etc. But uh, the main person that a lot of people was actually looking for the comment, they actually got a comment, but I don't know if it made the issue better or it added fuel to the flame and me personally i think it added a little spicy flame to the fire so yeah terrence crawford he chimed in on boots you know and basically was saying in a nutshell you know the double standards in boxing you know basically alluding to saying that hey you know, he a superstar. He is, is he what y'all call, you know, uh, one of the guys that should be challenging me with the performance he did with Avenesian. And I don't know what, you know, Terrence Crawford saw. Maybe he didn't see cleanliness in shots and things of that nature and footwork angles but you got to realize at the same time boots has been out of the ring for a whole year trying to find out what new promotion he wanted to go with so now he's with your boy match from eddie hearn and uh eddie hearn is promising him fights after fights after fights so we're gonna see what's next you know and Hopefully he stays busy and stays active. He said maybe October, November. So hopefully within the next coming months, weeks, at the you know earliest maybe, that we'll hear of Boots' next fight. But until then, let's get on to this. You know, a lot of people are saying that Boots is no match for Crawford. A lot of people are saying Crawford is scared of Boots. You know, and I want to chime in on that personally and just tell y'all this. Neither fighter is afraid of either fighter. Both fighters is on a different path. Always have, always will be. Now, if they meet, it's because the universe made it so. If they don't, it's because the universe made it so. You get what I'm saying? Because look, Crawford been fighting. Long before Boots turned pro, yada, yada, yada. Terrence Crawford is on the tail end of his career, picking and choosing what fights he want to go out with because he wants the, the most lucrative fight. You, you get what I'm saying? So why not? Why not go after the big bag? And that's why, you know, hey, Terrence is over there with Turkey Allah Sheep. Now, hey, Turkey already said he want to make the Boots versus Crawford fight. Why do you think Boots is over there with Eddie Hearn? Eddie Hearn is dealing with Turkey. They got fights lined up out the kazoo with a lot of Eddie Hearn fighters. Anthony Joshua, he got a fight coming up next, September 21st, I think. With Daniel Du Bois. That's Eddie Hearn match room doing that deal with Turkey. You know, come on now. So it makes total sense that we can see this fight in 2025. But y'all just gotta buckle up your seats and enjoy the ride. That's that's all. That's really all. You know, neither one of these guys are afraid of each other. Now, hey, the buildup is is cooking. And see, it's marinating. They put that spice on it. See, that's 
see, that's what Crawford did. Don't hate on him. What he did was he put some spice on it to see, hey, if if it's a good dish and he like it, then hey, he'll serve it to the fans. That means if it builds up and the money is there and it makes sense, he is there. But if it don't, he won't. He gonna go on to the next biggest thing. So, you know, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is, you know. But Boots, he chimed in. He said, sign a contract. His dad said, sign a contract. <laughs> Bozzy, you know what I'm saying? Bozzy Hennis, you know. Hey, I, I, I love that that duo right there, for real. You know, another father and son combo. And, you know, one of the best. One of the best in the business as well as... Bill Haney and Devin Haney and, and um, Benavidez Sr. and David Benavidez, uh, uh, Teofimo Lopez and Lopez Sr., you know, and, and, and countless others, you know, father and son combos. You know, we got the new ones coming up now, you know, Jaleel Hackett. And his father, you know, so it's so many others and others that I could just name so many countless others. But what I will say is, is that this Boots versus Crawford fight, boy, it is building up to be a big one. Do you hear me, y'all? Do you really hear me? Because I know if you comment on it and if you you you, you you mad at this and you mad at that and you want it fight, want it that, 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 because you got to, the anticipation got to be built up. You feel me? It ain't just you that going to see the fight. It, it needs to be millions and millions of other people to see this fight because this will be a generational once in a lifetime type of deal because two switch hitters fighting each other oh my god Woo! Mm. Mm-hmm. yeah that, that would be a beautiful thing that would be a work of art you know what I mean so I'm looking forward to it. I am really, really, truly looking forward to this fight. I hope y'all understand me now. <laughs> you know, it ain't no hate. It's it, yeah, it's plenty of debate on who gonna win and how they gonna win and this, that, and the third. But I'm gonna tell you like that now. This fight would be a 50-50 fight. Yeah, that's just me. You know, I gotta put it down how I feel it. And right now where I see it, I see it as a 50-50 fight. That it all depends and relies on August the 3rd on how Terrence Crawford fights Madrimov. You know, because he got a big fight coming up in Los Angeles. What? Yeah, y'all didn't know. Come on now. Four days for my birthday. Yo, it's your birthday. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be going down. But anyway, back to the back to what I'm saying here is, is that Crawford has a fight coming up himself. So he needs to perform at top capacity. He don't need to leave all his strength and power in the sparring matches. Do you hear me? You know, save some juice to get loose on Madrimov. I'm, I've seen this too many times and time again. Fighters leave their best power and fight in a sparring match. And that needs to end at some point. It needs to end a lot earlier. But, but right before the fighters start peaking, once he peaks just a little bit, they need to shut it off. They need to shut it off and tune it back up a few days before the fight, and that's it. Because these fighters are probably leaving the best fights in the sparring matches, trying to show off, going against different fighters, going to get different looks, putting so much wear and tear on the body. And then when they get into the pro fight, 
they really perform lack luster. So coaches, trainers, you need to find out a way to increase the cardio and decrease the damage in sparring. Therefore, allowing them enough time to properly lose the weight so that they are not weight drained and passing out and fainting and stuff like Janet Beck just did. You know, hope he's okay and everything he said he was, but you know, that's a serious matter. So that right there, these nutritionists, they need to be on top of their A game. You need to get the track record checked. You need to have these nutritionists down pat. You need to have these trainers down pat. You need to have your cardio down pat so that you will have that focus taken care of and your way to be on target and then get into your sparring and things of that nature. Um, that way you're fighting at that weight instead of fighting at a heavier weight then trying to lose the weight, then going to a fight, you drain, ain't got no energy, and then you fight lackluster. That's what's happening with a lot of these fighters. And like Shakur, you know, maybe you need to change your hand wrap, your gloves, whatever. If something is damaging your hands like that, or, you know, or decrease the the amount of power you're using in sparring because adding damage to your body in sparring don't equal up to when you get in the ring and or get ready to make that money. You know what I mean? So, you know, y'all fighters, just look out for yourself. Take care of your bodies, man. Take care of your mind, your soul. You know, and that's all I got for this video. Until next time, you already know the routine. You leave my house, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV. And I'm on social media everywhere. Never go to the website, primetimetalktv.com and copy some merch. All right, y'all. Peace, love. I'm out till next time.